what is up guys welcome back to another video in today's video we are starting a new series on how to make a pet system in roblox studio so i'm not sure exactly what all i want uh the pet system to feature like what all features that it has um but we definitely will be getting this working today where we just make a pet follow us around there's also a slight wobble to the pet to make it look like it's actually walking in future videos i think i want to add an egg system so you can hatch new pets uh we'll definitely need to make a pet inventory system so we can select the pet that we want to equip and unequip the pet right now we cannot unequip it we can just keep equipping it um but yeah so this is what we'll be doing today not sure where this is going so it might be a pretty messy series it might be kind of hard to follow along but i will make every video uh, the project file available on my patreon so if you have any issues just go just go to my patreon and grab the project file and import it and, and open it up in roblox studio and yeah so with that with that out of the way let's just get started so the first thing you want to do is you want to get some pets so just go to your toolbox and I just searched pets. And this is the one I, I chose pet pack by brawl XSA. Once you find the pet pack you want to use, just click on it and it should insert it into your scene. Uh, you don't got to do anything with them here. You can just, uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to drag them into our replicated storage. So now we've got a bunch of pets that we could use. And just pick out one pet you want to use for now. I chose just a dog, but you could use any of them. But there is one just named dog. That's what I used. Then you want to go to your starter player and in starter character scripts. Add in a local script and we're going to call this pet equip script and the first thing we want to do is get a reference to our player so we'll say local player equals game dot players dot local player then let's grab our character And doing this or player dot character dot wait will just make it so it waits for the character to load before it proceeds with the rest of the script. We need to grab our uh, humanoid root part. Now we need to grab a reference to our pets folder. Let's do this. Let's also, at the top, we will grab a reference to our replicated storage. And let's also do our players. And we can just say players.local player here. And then right here we can just say replicated storage. Wait for child pets. Then you want to get a reference to the name of the pet that you want to equip. So like I said, I just chose dog. In the future, this will we'll do this a different way. We won't have to set the name of the pet we want to equip we'll actually have a pet inventory that we can just choose 
and select the pet that we want to equip and just make a reference for the equipped pet then you get a reference to the tween service Then we need some variables for uh, the pet and how it follows us. So we will grab, or we will create a follow distance. We need a wobble amplitude, because we want our pet to wobble when it follows us. We don't want it to just follow us in a straight line. We want to give it some animation. need a variable for our wobble speed so you can adjust this to uh, to your liking the higher it is the faster that the pet will wobble and we need a height offset so we can set the height of our pet that, uh, from the ground I found negative two is what I want uh, for this dog pet specifically it may be different for uh, different pets but we'll worry about that in the future and we need a move threshold so this is like how sensitive you want your pet like uh, it, it's wobble to be like we only want it to wobble when the pet is moving when the pet's not moving uh, we don't want it to wobble so this is the sensitivity for that then we just want a variable to store the previous position of the pet all right now we need a function to equip the pet We'll say if equipped pet, then equipped pet destroy. Now we want to clone the pet model from replicated storage. So we will say local pet model equals pets folder colon find first child pet name colon clone and I'm not sure why it's giving me an error right here but let's just keep going and we'll worry about that in a minute we will say pet model dot parent equals workspace and we will say equipped pet equals pet model and that actually fixed our error so we don't got to worry about that now so now we want to position the pet slightly behind the player so to do that we will say equipped pet set primary part c frame humanoid root part dot c frame times c frame dot new zero comma zero comma negative follow distance and we will say last pet position equals equipped pet dot primary part dot position And we need to set the time uh, for the wobble effect. We just need to, to initialize it. So just local time equals zero. And then we need to grab a reference to our run service because we need it right now. So 
So local run service equals game get service run service. Then we can just say run service dot heartbeat connect function and we're passing through delta time. And so this is just going to be a loop that we need to make for the pet to follow the player. So we say if equipped pet and humanoid root part then time plus equals delta time. We need to calculate the position slightly behind the player. So to do that we just say local target position equals humanoid root part dot position minus humanoid root part dot c frame dot look vector times follow distance. That's the target position. Now we need the final position. So we say local final position equals vector three dot new target position dot x capital X humanoid root part dot position dot y plus height offset comma target position dot z So now we want to check if the pet has moved significantly. Uh, we're going to base this on the distance between the current and previous positions. So we say local pet position equals equipped pet dot primary part dot position. Then local distance to target equals pet position minus last pet position dot magnitude. Now we need to create the bobbing effect and we'll only do this if the pet has moved significantly. So we need to say local wobble rotation equals C frame dot angles zero comma zero comma zero so there is no no wobble by default and if distance to target is greater than the move threshold then we want to apply the wobble so we say local wobble offset equals math dot sign and in parentheses we do time times wobble speed and then outside the parentheses we will multiply it by the wobble amplitude then we say wobble rotation equals C frame dot angles zero comma zero comma wobble offset all right outside of this if statement we want to ensure the pet only rotates on the y-axis to face the player so we say local pet look at player equals C frame dot look at equipped pet dot primary part dot position comma vector three dot new
humanoid root part dot position dot x comma equipped pet dot primary part dot position dot y comma humanoid root part dot position dot z then we wanted to get the corrected rotation uh, I just did this because my pets were facing backwards so I just needed to rotate them 180 degrees so to do that we just say corrected rotation equals pet look at player times C frame dot angles zero comma math dot radians 180 comma zero then we need to combine the y-axis look rotation and the z-axis wobble so equipped pet colon set primary part c frame c frame dot new final position multiply by corrected rotation dot rotation times wobble rotation and we will say last pet position equals pet position and then outside of this we want to equip the pet whenever the player presses the E key so we're gonna need the user input service so let's go up to the top and let's grab that user input service and then back down at the bottom we will say user input service dot input began connect function pass through the input and then we just say if input dot key code equals enum dot key code dot e then we just equip the pet uh, we need two equals and that should be everything we need let's press play test it out press the e key and there is our doggy following us around with a wobble so that is what we're looking for right now like i said at the beginning of the video we're going to add more features to this and make it more robust and dynamic but for now we are happy with this and we're going to end the video right here thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one